Excuse me, sir. It's me again. Oh. Welcome back, young lady. I trust you managed to keep the you-know-what a secret in the meantime. Nope. Uh. I'm really sorry, but I couldn't. Mm? What do you mean you couldn't? Auto erect. Ew. Pardon the intrusion, but I heard you might possess a map belonging to Balthazar. Oh. Who are ye? This is Captain Leon Bastrel. Nanto. Leon Bastrel, scourge of the seas. Hmm. I don't want to believe it, but there's no mistake in that blue sphere. I heard about ye and your famous words. What were they again? The strong will take. The strong take while the weaker quake. Those are words best forgotten, sir. Masako. Don't. Do you take me for a fool? I know you're just here to loot my store. <laughs> I can assure you I came for no such reason. I cast aside that life long ago. Hmm. hmm, this certainly looks like one of Balthazar's works. Hmm. You really don't plan to steal it, do you? Uh -huh. I see. So the rumors of the great pirates Leon and Balthazar being friends really were true. Mm -hmm. Huh? He sounds different. Ah. If you two were as close as the stories say, then I'm sure you'd do anything to have this map, am I right? Scushy. However, it's a precious family heirloom, and I'm afraid I cannot part with it without recompense. This guy's an asshole. But earlier you said you were just gonna throw it away. Oh. If you're truly the Liam Bastrel, then I'm certain you're well versed in the treasures of the realm. I am but a lowly merchant, you see. Nothing in comparison to your grandeur. But there is one thing we have in common. A desire for a certain treasure. Jitsua. Have you heard of Edbart Shield? Edbart was a servant of the king in Farron. His defense with the shield was said to be impenetrable. Legend says that he that bleh, legend says he used that same shield to protect his liege until the tragic fall of the kingdom. I heard a rumor that it's been spotted in this very town as of late. Hmm. Curious timing, isn't it? Both a fabled pirate and a fabled treasure in Victor's Hollow at the same time. If you happen to cross it somewhere, Mr. Bastrel, I'd be happy to trade it for the map. How dare he use that map as leverage, rightfully belonging to Mr. Leon's friend. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid you are mistaken. Oh. Thank you for showing me the map, and my apologies for taking up so much of your time. Eh? Are you really just gonna leave without your friend's keepsake? Oh. That map is not mine to take. Jana. No, I shall take my leave, lass. <laughs> I'd like to celebrate his life with a drink tonight. Leonso. Mr. Leon. He says he doesn't need it, but I think a memento like that is best kept in a friend's hands. I'll find a way to get it to him. Nah. You said you'd trade that map for Edbart's shield, right? Yes. I'll be back in two ripples of the tide. Travel banter. Therion, you really want that map, don't you? I do, for Mr. Leon's sake. I could steal it for you, you know. I'd rather you didn't. I can handle this myself. He wants to trade and he'll have it. That's what I do best. I'll show him who's the best merchant around. Well, I see my help's not needed here. Thought I'd act the gallant type, but clearly your lady prefers the leading role. You bet. After all, how could I call myself a real merchant if I refuse this challenge? 
How indeed. Theron's not impressed. He's like, just let me fucking steal it. What's the point in trading for it? That's a lot of effort. That wasn't actually too difficult. It'd be worth ah. that fucking 8,000. Back so soon? Eh? I made a promise, didn't I? And I always deliver. That's a big ass shield. Masaka. My word! I can't believe you actually found it. This symbol and this weight. And all these scars. There's no mistaking it. This is the real deal. Oh. Thank you so much, young lady. Here's the map as promised. <laughs> how did you ever manage to get this shield? <laughs> I'm a merchant. We have our ways. I, I just spent 8,000 gold on it. That's all. King, such a renowned treasure is no small feat. I can see you have promise, young lady, and lots of it. I, mean, I had a lot of their money. That wasn't a big deal. Leosa! Mr. Leon! Huh? I brought something for you. Balthazar's map. Don't tell me you went through the trouble of finding that shield for him. <laughs> Then I won't. <laughs> Thank you, Les. Were you really okay with just leaving the map at that shop? When you gazed at it, your eyes were so forlorn. I felt like it belonged with you. Your keen eyes never cease to amaze me. Yes. Let me tell you a story, lass. About Balthazar and me. Right, back story time. Ooh, damn. That looks cool. We were at Lads when the Sea first called to us. And as we grew, so did our reputation. Balthazar came to be known as the Wild Eagle, and I, the Sea Serpent. Our ships clashed on the open ocean, and our names roared like thunder through the skies. Sejo! Captain Leo! Sejo! バカ言っちゃいけねえ。奴より先に島に着くんだ。負けたらお宝はなしだぞ。しっかり勝ち取りな。てめえら。ふふふ。しっかり勝ち取りな。てめえら。<笑> Shit. 
悪いが、この島の丘からは、このバルタザールがいいだ。ふん。勝負に勝ったんだ。好きにしな。お互い、でかくなったもんだな。貧民街で生まれた俺たちは、必死で成り上がった。でかくなることだけ夢見て、略
That's why you left it in the shop. <laughs> Precisely. You made a proper trade for this last, so it belongs to you now. However you use it is up to you. Mm. Up to me. Let's go fucking find that treasure. Mr. Leon lost more than just a race that day. I think having a memento of his friend would cheer him up. And I wouldn't mind getting a closer look at more pirate treasure. Yes. Time to put this map to use. Travel banter? No, no travel banter. All right, this way. Just a uh, rest up a little. And also maybe check from here. get a staff. I can't find a good staff for her. Just that fucking makeshift staff. Page 42. Journeying across the realm as a traveling merchant, this humble man does not use his skills to, prolif to profit at his customer's expense. Rather, he believes in offering his products at a fair price to those who are in need. Arya. Oh, dang. I'm not buy that. That was fucking great. <laughs> so I saved 11,000 on it. Ooh, my vision goes down, but everything else goes up so much. It's really unfortunate. Taking up his trade years ago, he tried his hand at various odd jobs with no intent of committing to anything in particular. It's only after he stumbled upon a collection of antiques bequeathed to him by his grandfather that he resolved to become a merchant, a profession to which he is still a seated. Let's see. Oh, there's a change. Discount. Anyone else to buy from? Age 27. This young man lives a carefree lifestyle and is devoted to the pursuit of pleasure above all else, or at least it is how he would prevent himself to others. In truth, he's an exceptional gladiator, ever in search of a lady challenge. Adi. Ooh, ooh, weapons for sale. That's good. Should check around here and then go to the weapon shop after I've talked to everyone. Finish with you. Can I get down here, please? Moniker 100 Punch Man. 100 Punch Man. 3 cubits, 1 span. Wait, 8 9 stone. I know, I know, it's a stupid name, but try telling him that. Maybe after you beat him with wind, fire, or dark expected attacks, no particular weapon will afford you to manage, I'm afraid. Arigato. Dude. Let me wait in there. 
Aha. Oh, that's not weird at all that you just have a whole bunch of candy, old man. <laughs> Why do you have a whole bunch of candy? The Enigma. Play pretentious name if I ever heard one. A sword or dagger, I'll just sort him out. Okay. Why do you just have a bunch of candy, old man? I'm not worried about that at all. Okay, bye. Can I go this way too? Don't seem like it. Let's sell some shit. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. How do I give you a better box? Done a little bit, but eh, I don't think the bus is as good. That's pretty good. the evasion. Oh, I got 666 six, six evasion. It's fucking great. Mm. Make sure you should also optimize now. 